everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Nidhi Sanji JP is doing another uh, generation debut. Their last generation debut, I believe, was a couple months ago when it comes to their JP side. The one with Arun, I believe that that's the name of the person, uh, the uh, mascot character. They just did that. They're, they're going back to their meat wave stuff. I really hope for the sake of these people that they get popular and they, you know, are able to spread their wings like they should be able to do, like any agency should allow them to do. This is first stream schedule is going to be this is Speciale, I believe is the name of the thingy. Uh, they all seem to be patissiers or at least made in like a bakery uh, group, looks like. Five new members debut from VTuber Virtual Library Group Nidhi Sanji that will start their activities today, August 13th, Tuesday. So they're starting right now, apparently. Um, welcome to newly opened restaurant Speciale. Uh, first broadcast will start on Friday, August 16th, and uh, they are announced today. So in three days, they're not even they're not even doing like a week, two weeks, a month, nothing. They're doing, from what I can tell, this is the only buildup. This is one of the mistakes that Nidhi Sanji does. Let me just criticize them for a little bit. It's one of the mistakes Nidhi Sanji does. You don't go and do this type of stuff like that right away. You don't go and uh, just make it happen like that. You know what I mean? Uh, don't do it three days beforehand, especially. Five new VTubers have debuted from the VTuber Virtual Library Group, Nidhi Sanji. They are live streamers who work on cafe restaurant called Speciale. Each live streamer will, uh, account was launched today, their X accounts, and also their, their, so all social media has been, been launched today. The first YouTube broadcast will be on relay format. Each live streamer's channel from 1930, uh, Japan time, JST, on Friday, August 16th, in addition, the music video for the debut, Cooking Dream in Land, will be premiere on 2300 on Friday, August 16th. Enjoy the first release of the debut songs from Nanase Suzuna, Saotome Beri, Ki Kirara Tamako, Sakayori Soma, and Nagisa Trout. The first stream to commemorate their debut, acrylic stands, tin badges, everything basically they're going to have commemorative gear. This is Nanase Suzuna in charge of morning shifts at the cafe. Even on rainy, windy days, they always start their, their day with determination, Saotome college student working part-time who's honest and selfish uh, about her desires something sweeter than uh three meals a day just kidding wants something salty looks like one of the patissier cooks uh kirara the youngest poster girl who wants to become a great chef in the future she says she likes omu rice and still just helping out for now but one day i'd like to be a good worker like everyone else sakamiri soma says sommelier apprentice who just moved to tokyo from the countryside doesn't like hassle of everyday life uh, Nagisa Trout, which is the other male, I think it's two males and the others are females. Laid back young man who likes unique aura. He likes cooking, but on days when he's not in the mood, he just wanders off outside. So he's kind of the lazy boy. But yeah, no, there's a lot of things going on here. Like I said, um, I do hope that they uh, do well in their things so far, like 9.2K subscribers, 8.8K. They're all having their upcoming things scheduled, uh, 9.6K, 11.8K. So the guys actually are pretty much higher now than everything else. Speciale is their actual full um, YouTube channel. These end up getting abandoned, unfortunately, uh, by Nidhi Sanji, but this is their like uh, their group YouTube channel. Um, and here you have, of course, another group of people talking about it. It says how many will be remembered in the end. Even just one line in the pocket of the corporate overlords, yes. One would definitely line the pocket. Probably one, just the previous debut livers like Loon Loon and the rest. Yeah, Loon Loon was the one, the, the mascot character who got remembered. Not gonna lie, the last wave of Jenner I remember was Selen, Selen Girls Academy Drama Club. Hisui Chigusa Kohaku Akane Sango. After that, I don't remember anyone except the False ID clone. Uh, who the heck is the False ID clone? Uh, oh, this guy. Wataribi Hibari. No, <laughs> they call him a False ID clone. That's kind of funny. Uh, not not enough. Nijikoshi ain't going downhill, sending the next wave. Yeah, that's what they're doing. And I don't appreciate that. I don't like that. Because um, if you want your talents to succeed, you don't do things like this. But then again, we know that uh, Nidhi Sanji overall doesn't seem to want the talents to succeed. They just want money, money, money and throwing the meat wave out there. As expected, when you are making any kind of news in regards to Nidhi Sanji, whether you are just stating fact or, you know, adding your flair to it or whatever it ends up being, uh, NDF will come after you and they will try to report you, troll you. I've been trolled myself. I've been reported myself. I have been doxxed myself. It just happens. It's a part of the territory. I'm sure False has his protections uh, because I believe he's part of Mythic Talents. So he, there are protections there. There are legal protections, other things that he has in order to protect from these types of people. YouTube 18 reports. Thanks for the reports to YouTube. 
False ID took down his following video of the Aqua graduation, then completely changed the title and scrubbed any mentions of it when Hex Grad News came out. Only three minutes of half-baked coverage tacked onto a 30-minute video of completely unrelated topics. Pretty deceptive. It's not deceptive. He always does this. I'm coming to the defense of False for this kid situation. He is a news VTuber. You aren't just going to be doing one thing at a time. He's always basically known for doing snippets of all the news out there, giving you the news as it is. No things tacked on top of it. No opinions tacked on top of it. No, <clears throat> nothing extra. He is just newscaster. He's pretty much the VTuber newscaster, the VTuber news channel specifically in the most journalistic way possible. He doesn't give his opinion. Maybe on streams he does, but on his actual videos, it's just him stating the news, which is one of the channels you would least think would have uh, haters and would have people really trying to report. But I guess every single person, no matter what, how simple it is, how uh, trying to make it just based on fact and how much just not putting their opinions in here a person can be, still they're hated and they are treated like this. So let's see what people say about it. Least insane member of the NDF and post was two days ago. And the post was two days ago. Subject on target was probably this vid. Uh, it seems NDF have always had uh, having false ID in their head rent free 24 seven. By the way, I've archived the whole page just in case. I actually did notice that he re-uploaded a video with a bit of extra news at the beginning. Did he ever say why? It's because he just, he just posted the other video like an hour before and the news came out and there wasn't enough info for a full second vid. So he just removed the one that he added and he added the news in the beginning. So he didn't really care about the fact that he had gotten a bunch of views on the first one. He wanted to make sure everything was in there and he wasn't just, you know, uh, posting a five minute video after that just for the extra news. Uh, did they know if it was reported more than two times of same video at the same time, all of it will be flagged as spam. Uh, both of you to assume that 39 IQ heads know how YouTube works. To be honest, what, do you, what you have shared about is new to me as well. Well, yeah, of course they take it as spam. Because if it's the same person doing it for like one video 18 times, then of course they're going to take it as spam. They're going to take it as false flag. And then you may be getting flagged because you are a false reporter. A little bit of a meme to remind us all of what we lost in Nidhi Sanji. This person, okay, I'll pull the next one with my, <laughs> with their, their nipple, their nipple. Um, the person that they're talking about here is probably referencing um, Oto Gibara. Era, which is Gibara, also known for Nidhi Sanji. She's the first one I've been described to make gorilla noises after pulling her gacha and getting what she wanted in lots of angst. Um, my first thought was Gibara. I tried to look up the clip after her doing it and couldn't find it. I can still hear her dry heaving till this day. Fortunately, Babuchi Yamu got it covered. The source of the monkey noises is this one here. If you watch the, uh, the uh, VTuber anime, you know it. And this is Gibara. <laughs> so yeah it happened it freaking happened and if you remember this one they, they were uh doing a review show about you know people uh special moments in their whole live thing and this is one of the ones where she was making monkey noises so it's gibara it's gibara another one in regards to uh, other VTuber things, other, you know, people, things happening in the community, because cosplayers are kind of in the whole same communities, anime VTubers, all that kind of stuff. So if the police can't keep her safe, then we would step in. VTubing, cosplay, idol communities, Tikikihima stalker. Then you're my enemy, huh? That's why I did it, because no one should have to go through that. She is within the community. I consider it a part of the community. It's the idol slash cosplaying slash VTuber community. A lot of uh, VTubers are cosplayers, and a lot of VTubers are idols or are, you know, trying to become idols. Those are all within the community. And this one pretty much sums up all of our thoughts. You're our enemy now. Dude, just why did you do this? Just why did you do this? Bit of an update on the Kiki Hime thing. I know there are people that say that I am a VTuber. Why the heck am I talking about IRL things going on? This affects everybody. There are VTubers who go out in their IRL personas. There are a lot of EN VTubers, independents, who go out in their IRL personas. There's people like uh, Shy Lily who goes out in her IRL persona. There's, you know, Bao who kind of has her IRL persona out there. Lena who has her IRL persona out there. Cinder, other people have their IRL personas out there. Um, Tricky V, others in the EN sphere do that. And that is scary. Kason has her IRL persona out there. If it happens to a cosplayer who's in the anime community slash, you know, our community, 
it'll happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody. And that is why I like putting a spotlight on these things. It is unfortunate that it is like really a damn shame that the um, there was no actual security there. There were just people like me and you there to kind of help, you know, corral people and help manage people. Uh, we aren't the ones like I don't have any training in security, so I wouldn't be uh, able to really help in any of those situations. And it wouldn't be good for me to be in a security situation because I don't know Jack Squad about that. So that's the mistake that the comic cat people made. And of course, they let the guy go. Davy police lost him at comic cat and couldn't help her because she didn't live there. Stalker supposedly been doing this since she was 16 or 17 when she started streaming on Nico Nico was sent love messages and other weird fantasies from him, like him marrying her and all that kind of stuff. It's just a lot of creepiness going on. A lot of just, it's just not right. It really isn't right that these things are happening to her and to anybody. That's just, that shouldn't even be a thing that people think about when going out and doing cosplay or doing meetups or doing anything. Because I think Victoria has done IRL meetups. Other people have done IRL meetups. Asayu has done IRL meetups. It's just risky. That's why I, as a VTuber, I'm talking about this. Not because, you know, oh, it's, it's drama and blah, blah, blah. This is a warning to, I guess, pretty much everybody. Just be very careful. If you are, unfortunately now, if you are someone who is very well known, get at least for the day of a security guard, someone who's actually in security, uh, you know, pay for their, their ticket there, organize something where they can be there with you at all times, that type of thing. Cause unfortunately it seems like there are wild people out there that aren't quite right in the head. Is Full Milk on the most 3D watch debut, the most watch 3D debut in the side of ENV tubing. Didn't check the revenue, but in views, it seems like it. She has done a really great job. Like these are all, of course, Hololive, there's Mume, there's uh, Gura 3D Showcase. Fomoko 3D debut, uh, 93,000. She beat a lot of her EN uh, gen mates as well. She beat all of her EN gen mates. She beat a lot of the EN in general. Um, and that is fine. That is perfectly fine. Some of these were early on in the days when they didn't have a lot of, of uh, a lot of people, like in 2023, when maybe there were less people. Uh, but she did, a, they both did a really good job. Of course, it's partly because they're twins, partly because, you know, Fuamoko is very much loved in the EN community. Whether you are a Hollow Live enjoyer or not, they're very much loved in the EN community. So 93,000 concurrent CCVs. That isn't peak. I believe that's concurrent. If Myth was allowed in Japan back in 2021 when their 3D was done, they would have had much higher numbers. Of course, to me, the only reason Ame and Kiara are that low is because we see the 3D more than once by that time. At their best moment, I can see Gura breaking all kinds of records. That's the thing. Their 3Ds had been shown, like different styles of 3Ds had been shown before. Not their full 3D that, you know, we're talking about now, but the different styles of 3D have been shown before. So that's one of the reasons why I think it wasn't so, you know, greatly shown or greatly, you know, uh, 93,000 like they had this time. They probably would have been at least double, is my opinion. They would have been, uh, maybe more. Not just EM, but JP as a whole. The record was held by Muna Hoshinova from Hollow ID for 80K, 85K CCV. Fun fact, Gura still holds the record for the highest 3D stream CCV for non-JP. 95K during her birthday live of 2022. She also hold the record for the highest non-JP CCV with 195K at the time she revealed her second outfit. It's also marked as the highest CCV for outfit reveal in the VTuber history. So a lot of uh, history was done, was made by Hololive. Gura, the only one to have reached a million views for a 3D showcase means that a lot of fans didn't catch it live. People were complaining at our Hololive how they can't make it to Gura's 3D live because time zone. And of course, most of them were EU fans. Fomoko, of course, will be the second to reach a million views too later. The twins' numbers are still going up. Hello JP really loves Fuomoko. Their three-day debut hashtag got the number one trending in Japan. Also, they do JP streams sometimes. That's why they got the solid CCV numbers. Glad to see Halloween Sphere is still growing stronger after the pandemic. Them knowing JP definitely helps them a lot. It does. It helps them in the JP thing. Just like, you know, you have Meloko and others in the Nidbi Sanji uh, sphere that get helped by their JP knowledge by knowing jp by being able to speak jp and being able to go and maybe collab with jp that type of stuff really helps welcome everybody to the vtuber showcase where i do every single episode of my videos i go in and give something back to the vtuber community that has given so much to me by showcasing some uh lesser known uh vtubers out there in this case it's penu or pen penu uh this penu usually stream uh and draw that's it they are a VTuber who does like it shows here a lot of drawings. Uh, they have their comfy side here. Uh, let's take a look at their content. This is their YouTube side where they are, uh, you know, posting, of course, in some cases, their VODs and other little things here. Let's take a look. 
Wait, what? Why are these kids saying hi? Where, where are you going? Where are you going? You smell like grass. Thank you. There you go. So that's that's a little bit of, of uh, Pen Penu. Let's see what they say on their Twitch side. I like to variety of content. English is not my first language and it might not get might get awkward on stream sometimes. So please be kind. So yeah, they're just a streamer trying to get a little bit of a community going, trying to bring the wonderful side of themselves out in their content. And um, again, we're taking a look at something else. Grapes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You, you, you. No, I'm not going to eat the grapes. Go inside. You, take grapes, grapes, <laughs> grapes, grapes. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we will usually hang out in the salon. We're already in the salon. So yeah, they're doing a really good job. I just wanted to showcase them because of course I believe every single VTuber deserves to be seen. They deserve to have their content shown as much as possible and they deserve for their communities to grow every single day. So I hope that this does help you grow and thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. Thank you so much for watching today and taking a look at all the VTuber news that we had on this wonderful day. My socials are down below and you can take a look at those. You can comment down below, which also I love. Let's have this conversation. Let's have whether you like it, you know, agree with me, don't agree with me. Have that conversation down below. Like and subscribe and all that other fun stuff that YouTube usually asks you to do. Appreciate you. See you guys next time.